Chef Marco Kwan, and we're gonna be making for you today a firecracker salmon roll. I have some already made here, but I'm gonna show you how to roll one up. It's easy for you guys at home to understand. First, you're gonna need salmon. Salmon, you're gonna need some baby romaine leaves. I usually use the, the, um, the core of the leaves. Some salt, and some blackened spice, blackened fish spice, okay? So first off, we're gonna salt our fish and a little blackened spice, both sides, okay? Both sides. And then with these romaine leaves, these cores, I don't know if you guys see the cores. Simple, not the outer leaves, just the cores. There's the outer leaves right here, look. Put the cores in the bottom. And this is a cool dish because I learned this dish from my, my mentor, George Gomes, and you know, he, he taught me this and I use it everywhere I go. You know, I use it at home, at the restaurant, specials, and I even like using the bellies. The bellies is probably the best part of the salmon for, for me, but you can use them in the Here we go. So we got the romaine leaves, we got the blackened salmon, and we're just gonna fold it. And I make a little burrito. Fold the both sides over, and then I'm gonna roll it, and then I'm gonna get this little bit of egg wash here. I'm gonna wipe a little egg wash. Okay, and I'm just gonna seal it with the egg wash. Booyah, look at that. Perfect packages, yeah? So I have some, I have some oil, some just regular canola oil in a pan, about a medium high heat, and um, we're gonna fry them. Here we are, we're gonna fry the firecracker salmon rolls. I got it on medium high heat, and I don't know if you guys noticed, I didn't put a lot of oil in here. Here we go, right inside the oil. Is that bubbling? That's it right there, baby. Keep on bubbling. And if it's too hot, turn it down. See, it's a gauge, turn it up. I'm gonna put all five inside. Cause I know these camera guys over here, they wanna eat it, so I gotta make them all. Here we go. And I got some newspaper, cause I like to save all my paper. And so I'm using paper towels, so I drain it from here, okay? When I cook these things, I like to not overcook the salmon, you know, so, and you can peek, I mean, you can cheat, you can look, flip them around, let's take a look. There's no rules in cooking, unless you're in the kitchen. No, but this is a home kitchen, so there's no rules. Okay, flip your salmon rolls, and, and you can see them. Look at that color. It's super brown. And the middle should be nice and like about medium. Okay? Flip it. I'm terrible at chopsticks, even though I'm Korean. Wait a second. And if you don't have chopsticks, you use a pair of tongs. Great. So we're almost done. You can smell this. You can smell the salmon. You can smell the blackened spice. And like I said, don't use a lot of oil, because what are you going to use the oil later on for, right? Don't waste the oil. Okay, here we go. Our salmon rolls are done. We're going to let them rest for about a minute before we cut them. But I'll let you know about this sauce here. Simple sauce. Lime juice, cilantro, and sweet Thai chili. To make the dressing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this up really simple, okay? And this is about what? Three fourths of a cup. And this is about, about three or four sprigs of cilantro. You can put more if you want, you can put less. It's really up to your flavor. Um, you can also put toasted peanuts in there if you want. You can also put Hawaiian chili peppers if you want. So here I go in a mixing bowl. It's a sweet Thai chili. And if you don't like sweet Thai chili, then use oyster sauce with hoisin and shoyu and ketchup. You know, Tabasco, that's, you know, if you ain't got this, use something else. And I got about a half a lime. I squeeze it all in there, okay? Get all that lime juice in there. It gives that zesty kick, you know, that little nice kick. And the sweet Thai chili is not very hot. The sweet Thai chili. Sweet Thai chili. And then cilantro for the nice pungentness. And I'm just gonna mix it all up, okay? And like I said, if you wanna add anything else into it, you wanna add peanuts, you wanna add Hawaiian chili peppers, you wanna show you, go for it. It's all up to you. But here's our salmon. Look at this, guys. Love this guy. I just cut him on a bias. And I just show him like that. Look at that. Medium right in the middle. delicious. There you go. And if you do it like this, if you make it stylish in your house, people might think that you're a chef and they're like, oh my God, how'd you do that? You look like a pro, yeah? You wanna make it look pretty, yeah? Like we've done this before. And that is our firecracker salmon roll, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for joining us at KTA Kitchens and enjoy your firecracker salmon roll. Oh, no, this is.